Hi everybody, thanks so much for tuning in. My name is Joey Fight. I'm the founder of thephysicaleducator.com, which is an online resource for physical education teachers. And more importantly, I'm a phys ed teacher here in Montreal, Canada, where I teach at St. George's School of Montreal. I teach at the elementary level, I teach grades one, two, three, and six, and I absolutely love my job. What you're watching right now is the Scope Vlog, which is a daily vlog that I upload onto YouTube. Usually I record on Periscope, but today I'm just doing a YouTube version, I'll explain why in a second. And in the scope vlog, I share um, things that are happening in my teaching, um, uh, current ideas that I'm looking at, any research I'm catching up on, um, and just all kinds of things I think might help inspire you as a physical educator. Now, like I said before, I usually record these live on Periscope, but today I'm actually pre-recording it uh, because I wanna show you how I make GIFs for a lot of the different resources uh, in my teaching. And to do that, I had to show my computer screen so it's a lot easier for me just to kind of splice that video in and do this pre-recorded rather than in trying to fill my computer screen on Periscope. Now, if you're not familiar with what a GIF is, a GIF stands for a Graphics Interchange Format. It's a type of file that kind of looks like a video, but really what it is, is like a moving image. So it's an image that constantly loops, um, but that shows some kind of animation. And about a year ago, or maybe a little bit longer than that, I figured out that you can make GIFs and embed them in a lot of the different types of resources that I was always creating. So, for example, in my keynote presentations, in my Google Forms, um, in all kinds of different resources that I create, and that there's a lot of advantages to making a GIF. So, as opposed to a video, a GIF, and sometimes they're called GIFs, but I'm not going to get into that, I call them GIFs. Um, but a GIF just constantly loops, so there's no need to press play, there's no need to, there's no end of the video, it will just constantly loop, which is fantastic when you can share that with your students and they can just see that constant loop happening and not have to really take any kind of action on it. Now it's a very powerful form of file um, and it's a really great resource. I'm going to show you just how easy it is using a tool called Giphy today and I'll show you some different ways uh, that you can use them. We're going to try and keep this vlog under 10 minutes. I know I say that every episode, I know every episode I go over 10 minutes, uh, but hopefully I can show you everything you need to know uh, in that time. So that being said, let me send you right to my computer screen and show you what I'm talking about. Before I show you how to make a GIF, let me show you what a GIF looks like in action. So like I said before, a GIF is a looping image um, that can be viewed on the web, that you can embed in a Google form, and also that you can embed inside a presentation. And again, the power of this is the fact that it's looping. You don't have to click play, it doesn't end, it just constantly goes on. So you can have it playing in the background or playing in a form and your students can continuously watch it without having to take any kind of action on it. So let's see how to make one. So first of all, the app that I love to use is Giphy. So Giphy, spelled like this here, G-I-P-H-Y. Um, and it's really simple to create a GIF on Giphy. First of all, you need to create an account. So I have my Phys Educator account here. I'm going to click Create. And once I do that, there are a couple different options that I have uh, to create a GIF. I can either choose a GIF from a YouTube uh, or Vimeo or Vine link, I can drag and or I can drag and drop a file basically from my computer, which is usually what I do, but I'm gonna show you how to make it with the YouTube link first. So let's say I find a YouTube video. Here's a video on um, how to hop uh, from uh, New South Wales. And I'm just gonna grab the URL here, so I'm gonna copy that. And if I paste that into here, it will pull up that video. So from this point on, what I need to do is I need to decide, okay, what's going to be my start time for the GIF? What's going to be my end time? What's going to be my total duration here? And if you see me do that, now you'll see that this GIF here is ready to be produced. When it's ready to be produced, I'm going to do create GIF. All right. And then my GIF is created. So I can do a lot of things with this here. I can download this GIF so that I can embed it into um, other uh, documents such as a presentation or like I said, a Google form. Um, or I can share this GIF on social media or I embed it on a web page, whatever it may be. But this is the GIF that I created. I can open it in open image in new tab and you'll see here's the GIF that I just created. Now the other option for creating a GIF when I go back to create here is I can drag and drop a file from my computer. So I have a file here that I created of me hopping um, along with some critical elements. I worked on this a while ago. Okay, and all I have to do here is take that file, drag and drop it. Look at that little hand, I'll tell you exactly where to put it. Let go, 
And then same kind of thing as with the um, the YouTube link. I just kind of select, okay, what's my start time going to be? How long do I want this to be? So I want this to be the full uh, length. And then go create GIF. And then boom, my GIF is created. And again, I can download this by going to advanced here, click download, that will download that to my computer. Or I can share this, embed it on a web page, or share it on Twitter, Facebook, or any other social media platform. So that's how I create GIFs. Um, again, they're super useful. I've been using them a lot in Google Forms, like I showed you up here. When I want kids to see what an example of a skill or a tactic or whatever it may be that I'm showing, uh, what it looks like at using a mature pattern or at an advanced level, and then getting them to reflect on it as well. It's also something, like I said earlier, that I'll have playing on the background on my TV screen, uh, be it in a browser or um, in a presentation so that the skill is just constantly looping. Um, I have really enjoyed uh, creating GIFs. I know that a lot of people are doing a lot of stuff with GIFs right now, but I just want to take some time to show you my favorite GIF maker. Again, that's Giphy.com. Uh, you can sign up for free. Uh, it's a ton of fun. And yeah, uh, I hope you enjoyed today's uh, scope vlog. Today was only the second Tech Tuesday, but I'm really looking forward to sharing uh, tech stuff with you every Tuesday from here on out. Uh, if you have any questions or anything like that, please feel free to share them in the comments down below. Also, make sure to check out the description box on YouTube because I'll put in all the links to the different things I talked about in today's vlog. I hope you had an absolutely fantastic day teaching. I wish you nothing but the best tomorrow. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I will see you tomorrow. Thanks so much.